out there under the lights and you cave every week. I'm sick of it. No pride. No guts. No balls. Nothing. You want to call yourself a football player? You have some goddamn emotion on the field, which you have none of. You're posers. You are posers. Football players don't act like this. Let's go. This is the place and the time to decide in your mind if you got what it takes for the shine. Yo, don't be wasting the time. Yo, get erased from the line. Yo, lights and the cameras are flashing, fans on their feet, and it's time for some action. Thunder and lightning, they fighting and clashing. High speed chase, race and keep smashing. L, L, L. This is Friday night football. Welcome to Tampa. Big game on hand tonight. They all are LFL Friday night football. We're at St. Pete. Fans are ready. Let's take a look at the standing, show you exactly what the situation is. Tampa is still in this despite being 0-2. They've got two games left tonight and against Miami. But you see the point differential. they got a lot of points to make up. New York can't do that. We'll take a break. Come right back. Men, finally a reason to love shopping. Log on to LFLshop.com for your favorite LFL team gear and merchandise. For the LFL fan on the go, simply go to LFLUS.com and download your favorite player and team applications. LFL Mobile, where true fantasy football meets your handset. Back here in Tampa, just about set for the kickoff. Let's take a look at our keys to the game. And start with New York. For them, it's simply a game of pride. With the playoffs out of reach, well, Tampa has their playoff hopes on the line in what is a must-win game tonight. And Tampa's got to score a lot of points, have a big point differential, which they can do. Two of Tampa's true impact players on both sides of the ball, Tiffany Powers and Liz Gorman, two of the most athletic players on this Tampa team. Both will be limited in the first half because they missed a mandatory practice. And just like in the NFL, as the season moves on, injuries happen at key positions. Both Tampa and New York will be playing with their backup quarterbacks tonight. Tampa's versatile Denisha Crawford under center in New York will go with the tough-nosed Nicole Stanley. Both teams believe they can win with those backups. And here we go. Angela Pepeto will kick off. Side kick, look out, the ball is loose. And it is going to be, let's see, let's wait for the official word. And it looks like the Majesty did recover. New York got it, okay. How about that? So now that pretty tough field position to put your defense in with the football at the 22 yard line. He placed that where it went out of bounds, be first and 10, New York. Okay, first and 10 where it went out of bounds, so the officials didn't need to worry about who recovered the football. Campus ready already, aren't they? Nicole Stanley at quarterback is an outstanding player, one of the real keys to this team. She can make things go. And she'll be looking at uh, Shelly Lashley and uh, DiMuccio, Kerry DiMuccio, she'll be looking as well. She can throw the football. She fades back on the first play. Does throw and it's caught. To the 10, to the five, touchdown. How about New York coming out of the break? They recover the onside kick and take the first play in. Outstanding start for the Majesty. Touchdown is good. The ball be placed at the two yard line for a one point. Defensive front. Alexis Heyman could be all fantasy. She's an outstanding player, as is Amanda Dorsher. And Jennifer Langston, one of the real keys at cornerback. Bree Cotton, those two have got to read exactly what's going on defensively. All right, here we go. One point conversion. Stanley moving around her players. Seem to be a little bit of confusion. And when you have confusion, you're in trouble. And that's exactly what happened. Nicole Ryle had nowhere to go. So 6 nothing 
New York with a uh, good start. They get the onside kick that went out of bounds and then take it right in first play. And here we go. Denisha Crawford at quarterback is outstanding. She can make things happen. Jennifer Langston at a wide receiver can flat catch the football. You'll see her a lot tonight. And Dorsher and Heyman, uh, the linebackers, are very, very good. Here we go. Hold it. Officials say stop and we'll take a break. We'll do it right now. Six nothing New York. We will be right back. So Tampa ball, first and 10 at their own 15 yard line, trailing 6 0. Crawford hands off. Lee with a little cutback, tries to get away. She does. Gets across the 20, out to about the 21 yard line. Nice run. She almost got stopped and got away from that. And about a six yard run. They'll make it second down and four. Crawford can be has played running back, and look at this. Here comes that motion that's been so successful for Tampa. Motion going to the far side. That's where the handoff goes. Langston goes around the right side. First down and more. She's into New York territory, down near the 15-yard line. Perfetto at the defensive line with Byrne and Lashley. That's where they're a little bit weak. They mean a little bit more push up front. Crawford. First and as they get that motion, you can tell they practiced that. Now trip receivers to the left side. Crawford. Fades back, throws it to Heyman. Alexis Heyman's got it. She's across the 10, down about the nine or eight yard line. Boy, Tampa just continues to take little bites, don't they? Not huge ones. Nicole Stanley, a cornerback, is a terrific player. Uh, Jessica Stellman, Rill, and Henry outstanding. This is a, a good defense, but this offense for Tampa can flat score. Tampa's number two in the league, 120 rushing yards, number two in passing yards as well. Fake the hand up, now they roll out to the right side, look at that hit, oh yeah. Nicole Stanley with the hit and the stop, wow. Here's the hand up, watch this hit. Oh. <laughs> That's a great stop. Fought off the block and it was enough for a first down. So first and goal now. Motion going to the far side. Handoff goes to the right side. Cut back inside and in for the touchdown. Lee Zuckerman with the touchdown. She had a nice cutback. She starts outside. There's the cutback in for the TD. She got taken down hard after the play was over. But she's in for the touchdown. So 6-6 six, six now. And Tampa going for one or two. Looks like they're going for one point. That's a safe play in this league. The two-point conversion seem to be very, very difficult. The one-pointers can be converted. All right, trips to the right. See if this is a keeper from Crawford going to the right side. And that's just what it is. She rolls out and gets hit and gets in. It was the second effort that got her in. And Denisha Crawford makes it 7-6. Tampa with a lead. What's the second effort here? She gets hit right away, stays on her feet, and just continues right in. Despite a tough season, New York's not going to simply lay down for anybody, as Miami found out earlier this year, when the street brawl-like fight broke out. 
you can see New York quarterback Crystal Gray, who will probably not play much tonight with injuries, but certainly is the fire plug of this New York team. They would get after it. All right, now New York ball. Their own 15. Here's Nicole Rill trying to go around the left side, and boy, there's nowhere to go. That Tampa front does a terrific job along with the cornerback who comes up to read that very well, make the stop, so make it a loss of a yard in second and 11. B.A. announcer's excited, isn't he? Just trying to make sure that you can tell, trying to make sure that everybody understands what they're doing on this play. Handoff and a fumble, loose ball. And I think Profetto got it back. Profetto was the ball carrier. She got it back. Look at, they're still fighting for it. <laughs> this is serious football. Amanda Dorsher forced that one. Defense, defense, defense. Well, they've had it so far. Motion. Pitch goes to Burns. She comes around the left side, and look at this. Look at this Tampa defense. They are not allowing anything. And the officials stop play. We got a timeout on the field. We'll take it and be right back. Welcome back, and a big play for New York early. It's fourth down here, and they're in trouble. Fourth down. Football is at their own 13-yard line. They don't convert here, and they're giving, almost giving Tampa a touchdown. The way Tampa can move it. New York sixth in the league in uh, offense, fourth in passing, sixth in rushing. Stanley fades back. She's got some pressure, steps up, throws, and it is incomplete. Amanda Dorcher there with the hit on Stanley. Stanley's actually a receiver, again, playing quarterback, but now Tampa in terrific shape. They've got the football at the New York 13-yard line, leading 7-6 already. And now they'll get the play. Crawford, the quarterback, brings them out. Crawford back in the shotgun, trips to the right side. Fades back, wants to throw. Fakes one way, now throws a little screen pass. Look at this, she gets away from one. Dorcher gets away from another. She's in for the touchdown. Wow, terrific yards after the catch. And she is in for a very quick six. A nice ball fake there. A little screen pass to a lineman. Evades one, evades the other, and then fights in. Touchdown. Torture with a great yards after the catch run. And Tampa rolling here. Going for one again. It worked the first time. Let's see if the exact same play works again. That's what it looks like. Trips to the right side. And that's what it is. Crawford goes around the right end, and she is in for the touchdown. That extra point. I tell you what they do so well. Very simple stuff, but they're going to block that in, and that's what it is. They are very effective at it. All right, we'll take a break. Tampa rolling at home. Tampa defense has been outstanding. And again, I told you they're the fourth ranked defense in the league going against the sixth ranked offense. And that's just what we're facing right here. 
New York absolutely needs to get some confidence here. They need to put a touchdown or at least move the football on this drive. Nicole Stanley at quarterback. Stanley fades back. Got all kinds of pressure. Almost got sacked. Now flag down. Let's see if that's holding. She's going to run for a first down, but let's see what the flag's all about. against Tampa. Illegal blitz was called. But what Nicole Stanley's got to be careful of is obviously Tampa's coming. That's the message you get right away is that they are going to keep putting pressure on the quarterback. Trips to the right again. Stanley fades back. She's in trouble. Rolls out and she is sacked. A cornerback blitz, and she is sacked. A big loss on the play. Now another flag down. We have an illegal defense blitz on the defense. That would be five yards, still first down. That's what I thought. The quarterback blitz is not allowed in this league. The only ones that can blitz are the front three, the two line woman or that linebacker. So the quarterback comes on the blitz, and it's against the rules. So New York now is rolling. They haven't done much, but they've got the football down at the 18-yard line. Stanley, a little pitch. Delma's got it, and she'll get maybe a yard or so at most. I tell you, this Tampa defense just continues to play well. Arguably the best defense in the NFL. These guys are good. It's listen, that's a good hit. Ooh, that's a good hit. Oh, man. I can hear that in my headphones. That thing rattled. Now trips to the left side. Stanley pass, and she's got it, and look at this. That Tampa defense is so quick. New York has got to do a better job of blocking up the field to keep the pressure off the receiver. She caught the football, and she was surrounded by Tampa players. Mark it at the 18-yard line now. So now it's third down, and they're in trouble again. And it's all about the line taking care of their job, so Stanley's got time. But again, if you're throwing a screen, those other receivers have got to do a better job at blocking. Stanley now fades back, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that's where a backup quarterback, and this is nothing against Nicole Stanley, but that's where a backup quarterback is a detriment to a team. That's why she's not their starter. She's a better wide receiver. Now fourth down. Defense. And fourth in trouble. Defense. Defense. They've thrown the football, so they can't run it. Trips to the right side. Rolls out right, and look at this. She's in trouble already and down. Maybe got a yard on the play. Tampa just is terrific up front. And that's the difference right now. Watch the penetration that they get. She's right there already before the play even starts. And that's what, that's where you've got to pick up that blitz and you've got to be able to stop. And New York has not been able Monica to do it. Was not made the first and 10 Tampa. So the football at the 16 yard line. Tampa now looking to get rolling. Up. Oh, before we do that, we'll take a break. All right, it'll be first down when we come back. This is LFL Friday Night Football. A 
right, so here we go. Tampa has the football, first and 10. At their own 16 yard line, leading this one 14 to 6. Motion comes to the left side. Little pitch, and look at this. Lots of room. She's across the 20 to the 25. Gets away from one tackler inside the 20 in New York territory, down to about the 17 yard line. Very, very nice run. Brandeis Lee with the run. Now the football down to about the 17. And Tampa just continues to roll here. Crawford under center. Fakes it. Oh, nice quick give. Look at the upfield blocking. And she is going to get down near the 10 yard line. Just what we were talking about New York not doing is what Tampa is doing. Not only blocking at the line of scrimmage, but long blocking down the field. Silkelman with a run. And she's open because of some really good blocking. And look at that, Tampa's ready to go. Crawford fakes the give. Now hangs on, now it's a throw, it's caught. She's down near the five yard line. Jen Langston with the catch, that's about a six yard gain and that's enough for a first down. And remember now, Tampa not only has to win this, but has to score a ton of points. They've got to win this by a lot. They want to make the playoffs, and Miami is sitting in the great seat. Crawford under center again. Fake, the give goes right up the middle, and she'll get a few yards. That's Alexis Heyman. And she'll get it down to about the one-yard line. little misdirection play and Heyman just goes right up the middle where they know New York's not very strong but that's what they do run right up the middle and now it's first and goal and now they're in great shape again already leading 14 to 6 looking for more Crawford fakes it now rolls out to the left side and she'll be stopped right there no gain on the play Crawford around the left side New York read that pretty well Rene, Rene there with the stop. So now it's third and goal. Where they've been successful is that little run to the right side by Crawford on the extra points. This is almost exactly the same situation. Let's see if the nope, that's not what they're doing. They're ganging up right in the middle. Look out, let's see if they're running power here. They are power to the left side, and she's in for the touchdown. Brandeis Lee just powers her way in, left side, touchdown. Touchdown, number nine, Brandeis Lee. So now 20 to six, and Tampa has got things going their way. Crawford right here, quick handoff. Lee again follows the blocks up the field and does what you're supposed to do. Once again, going for one. And you heard her quarterback keep. Big shock. Now they're all lined up to the left side. Let's see if that's where she's going. It didn't make sense, right? Yep, that's what she's doing. Look at the blocking, and she is in for the extra point. Again, Tampa doing a terrific job blocking down the field, and it is 21 to 6. We'll take a break. It'll be New York ball when we come back. This is Friday night football. Well, when you're down 21 to 6 and you haven't gotten anything going offensively, you need to get something going, obviously. Little motion coming. Give. Yumicho goes right up the middle. Look at this big run. She's got it out near midfield. Little misdirection. Comes right up the middle, running right at you. And that's enough for a first down. Very nice run.
Motion again comes to the near side. Give and again they're going right up the middle and maybe a yard and that's about it. Charlie Byrne on that run and you see them they're being a little generous with the forward progress. Now mark her down to the 24. Call it a gain of two. Make it second and eight. She reads off the play. And again, you can tell. A little problem without question and Nicole Stanley frustrated seemingly looked at the play and called her own play. Well let's see what happens here. Stanley again gives right up the middle Charlie Byrne and she'll maybe get a couple more. And the New York team seems a little frustrated. They, they, they just all season long have been disorganized. That's the one main thing you could say is that they're just they're not ready for whatever's coming at them. Now going over the play, Stanley telling them exactly where to go. And we've got the two minute warning. And we'll break and come right back. here in Tampa got a great crowd on hand again trying to get the crowd going a little bit Liz Mosk is their center trying to get the crowd going sure have fun come on out to the games this is a great time Stanley fades looks throws caught and hit immediately Wow with the catch but that hit was instantaneous watch this she'll roll out Stanley throws the ball and they hit right there that's what you want as a defensive back that's hard to beat New York face third and one now right at the 15 give DiMuccio trying to cut back and it's going to be very close. This will depend on the mark. And let's see what they say. Second fourth down. So fourth down and very short. And this is for New York now. This is a must score situation. You have to get six points here. Fourth down. She'll fade back. Nope. Now she's going to keep it. She's got a first down and more. Cuts outside the 10. And she'll be stopped there. But that's a first down. We got a flag down. Holding on the offense, number 15. Wow. Wow. A holding call. And I didn't see it, but you wonder if that was even involved in the play. But now New York is very uh, trouble. Coming up on halftime. New York down 21 to 6. Blitz receivers to both sides. And hold it. Official stopping play again. wardrobe problem that will be fixed. So 42.3 seconds left now. They'll get the clock straightened out. And New York had kind of showed one formation. Now they're changing that formation. Nope, they're going to stay with it. But I think they've changed the play. Stanley, the quarterback. 
fades back, rolls out to the right side. She's in trouble right now, gets away and fumbles it out of bounds into the stands. Van made a nice catch, but fourth down and Tampa's gonna take over again. Oh my. Not very nice situation if you are New York. Now Tampa's got it. First and 10 at their own 16, and they have run the ball very, very well so far. Denisha Crawford has been very good so far. She's got receivers split to both sides. Fades back, fakes, throws. Heyman's got it. She's across the 20 to the 25, and I think she's got enough for the first down from where we're at. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be enough for a first down. And the clock is running, and now Tampa wants a timeout. Let's take it with them. 21-6. We'll be right back. Tampa, their last one, first half. So Tampa gets the clock stopped and now has a good idea. Probably they've got a couple plays called. They want to come out here and say, we're going to do this first, then hurry and get to this next play. Crawford takes it. Rolls out. She's going to keep it. We got a flag down. And she got hit hard. Let's see what the flag's all about. Officials are discussing. Here he comes. He rolled out, was looking, looking, and then said, Look at all this green in front of me. And she had a nice run and then got hammered into the wall. Liz Moskis, who's made a couple of those plays now, the holding brings him back. their own 22 Crawford long pass and it is caught very close to a first down did she get enough she just kept fighting forward Jennifer Langston just continued to fight forward and there's half time. they just couldn't quite get that last playoff 21-6 our score at halftime We'll take a break, come back, lots of halftime stuff. Stick around, LFL, Friday Night Football. Sit down, grab a cup of water. We got to go over a couple things defensively. We need two defensive stops. It's all we need in this hand to win this game because we're moving the ball, but our drives are starting all the way down on our end of the field. We need to stop them before they cross the 50, and then we have a short drive. Everything we're doing is working. When we execute and run it, it's working fine. Have confidence in the offense. You guys are executing well. Sierra, hell of a catch there on third and long. <laughs> I need everybody to focus. You got one half of football left Keep in the season. Up, Leave a mark. Leave an impression. All right, let's do it. 17 minutes, ladies. Strap them up. All right. Absolutely. We're here to have fun to play football, right? Get the score. Let's look at the halftime stats. And the, the top number just jumps out at you. 92 to 22 is the total yards. Only 15 rushing yards. Tampa did not have a fourth down attempt to convert. New York was over before. That's tough. Here's the highlights. Well, you need points. Tampa opened up the game with his onside kick, which they very nearly recovered. The failed attempt gave New York great field position. They took advantage with this Nicole Stanley to Tanika Renee touchdown. And Tampa's high-powered offense answered with a pair of touchdown runs, including this one by Brandeis Lee, and followed up another by Elise Zuckelman. 
Tampa scoring was kept by this quick out in the flat from Denisha Crawford to Amanda Dorsher. We'll be right back. Second half, New York will kick off to Tampa. Tampa already up 21 6 here. Nicole Rill will kick off. Nice kick, line drive. Tiffany Powers has it. Look at her go. She's into New York territory. New York didn't react. They had the kickoff, but then didn't fly down the field. Tampa takes advantage of that. A great return by Powers. And boy, Tampa just, again, doesn't it seem like all night they've had terrific field position? Well, they're in that spot again. At the 19-yard line. Denisha Crawford. Comes up under center. There's motion going to the far side. Fakes a give. Now looking, throws, great upfield blocking. Pass is caught, and Jen Langston now very close to a first down, but what, again, terrific blocking up the field. So a spot foul on the holding. Move Tampa back. It's about the only thing that stopped them so far. They've thrown the ball very well, but they've really run it. Exception. And it's just New York is getting no penetration up front. Again, New York just seems to be a team that's not quite sure what to do all the time. Receivers split to both sides. Crawford motion going to the far side. Now trips. Crawford fades, fakes. Looking up the field, looking long, throws, and it's caught for a touchdown. Alexis Heyman there for the touchdown. A great pass fake. This is something that a lot of quarterbacks can't get. Watch the fake right there. Now she's looking deep, steps up, throws. Heyman all alone because that linebacker bit on that fake. Heyman all alone, and it's six more for Tampa. here and they've been so successful with this if it's the same play watch the blocking from these three if it's the same thing if Crawford's coming around to the right side it is look at the seal block oh they missed one there and Crawford still gets in they missed that first block but Crawford still finds a way gets in for the extra point how about 28 to 6 Tampa and again, you saw the graphic early going. Tampa's chasing a lot of points. Not only do they need to win this, they need to win next week against Miami, and they need to beat Miami by a bunch. Well, and let's see if they're able to do that. We'll say at the end of the game, we'll know how much they need to do it. But for them, it's been about defense. That's really what Tampa's been about this year. They can score, they can run. It. But arguably, this is the best defense in the league, led by Lee, Bartlett, Gorman and Langston, they're not only tough, they're strong, and they're very good up front, which is always a key. Now New York with it. Stanley rolls out, in trouble. Still in trouble, and finally is tapped out of bounds after a gain of a couple. Huh. Tampa was everywhere she was going. Like they'll give her a gain of a couple on the play and make it second down. So for Tampa, there's a lot of motivation here to stop New York at every single opportunity. As in any sport, the goal is to win it all, but you've got to get to the playoffs to be able to do that. And that's what they're looking to do right now. Stanley rolls around the left side looking for an opening now cuts back and she gets up near midfield gain a six or seven yards on the play to the market 
for that's going to be about seven yards. She's got some good blocking right there. It allows her to cut back and get up close to the first down. Third down and a yard. As you can see, it's kind of a short yard. Now she's got a couple backs right behind her. Give goes straight up the middle and there's no one. Just Selma with the carry and there's absolutely no room and it is fourth and three. And New York, you know they want to win a game. You know that they want to play well. You, you've done this. You have been at all the practices, watched films, done all the things that they do, and this is your last chance to come out here and not only get a win, but play well and have fun. And you can see some questions there. As they're breaking the huddle, Nicole Stanley now rolls out. Here the play clock go up. Now she's going to run. Stanley gets away from a couple, and she's just going to get the first down. She had to get right across midfield, did that by maybe a yard, and Stanley gets them a first down. She's looking to throw, gets great, and it's intercepted and dropped. Now, will they say she had it? Will they say she had possession and New York got it back or is it an incomplete pass? Boy, this is close. Is it incomplete? That's what they're saying, incomplete pass. The pass is ruled incomplete. Be third down. And it looked from here, you can't really tell, but from here it looked like it was an interception. So the official says third down. Up to third and about seven. Yeah. Santa slip. Back and hold. Wait, wait, wait. Receiver set to both sides. She's got motion going to the far side. That's Delma. Little pitch play to the right side and gonna fight forward. Oh, look at the extra effort. Danuccio just continues to fight forward and got about six yards on the play. And it was all extra effort. I and mean, she got two or three right away, but it, from there it was extra effort. Football to 15. And we've got a timeout. Timeout in the field. We'll take a break. 28 6. We'll be right back. Face with a fourth down here, fourth and one. And usually, the way the defenses line up, you see they have to be about three yards off the ball. 
you'd usually think you can get a yard or two here with your quarterback. You see with Stanley, who's a very good runner, and that's just what she's going to do. Comes around the right side, and she got hit hard. Got stood up right away, and then got hit hard. Nice play there. Tiffany Powers, the captain. She's fourth in the league in sacks. Powers with a nice job reading this. Didn't get the first down, but at least you stop from going any further and hold her up. She really got leveled by a couple teammates. Three Cotton was there among others. So first down. And again, you can see her not only telling them to play, but okay, you're going to do this, you're going to go out here. It's like we used to do back in the streets, right? Football at the 12. She's in trouble, fumbles the ball, and then got it back. Stanley got hit. And the ball comes back to about the 15-yard line. The penetration the Tampa gets, the first drive right off the snap is what really has made the difference. And they've had a lot of success running the football when they can avoid those sacks. Stanley calls the play, now rolls out to the right side. She's in trouble, cuts back. She's in real trouble, and she's going to be sacked for a loss. And again, Stanley fades back, and she has no time whatsoever to, to do anything with the football. There could be receivers open, but when you're running for your life, as a quarterback, there really isn't a lot you can do. Third and 14 now. And this is the kind of situation they've been in way too You can't recover from these third and longs very often. I don't care if you're Chicago, if you're Dallas, it just doesn't matter. She'll fade back under pressure, throws, and incomplete again. So another fourth and long. Fourth down. New York with a chance here in New York City. Now they've got the equipment issues in a late substitution. Crystal Gray, who we thought was injured, is going to come in and she's going to play. Now she is their outstanding quarterback. That's her nearest to you right now working on her defense. That's Crystal Gray. She can make this a totally different end of the game and now we've got to stop. And a timeout. All right, we'll take it with them and come right back. situation for New York they brought in Crystal Gray and then it looks like she went back off the field yeah we've still got Nicole Stanley at quarterback Stanley fades back looking long throws and it's incomplete way overthrown incomplete Stanley gave it the old college try but um, there's not much she could do that was a good drive by New York they really put together a nice run, but just can't put the ball in the end zone. So now Tampa with it. And Tampa has been very successful. Four touchdowns and four extra points so far. And they get the football at their own 21-yard line. Denisha quarterback. Denisha Crawford, I'm sorry, quarterback. Look at this, they go with a power set 
for the football at the 21. And she'll throw a quick pitch to the right side. It's caught. She'll make a move, gets into New York territory, just keeps fighting forward, and she's down to the 20-yard line. Tiffany Powers just fought and fought and fought and got nine yards on that play. That's a terrific, again, run after the catch. And they'll go with the, almost that same power set. A slot back to the left side. Now Crawford looks, throws, and the pass is incomplete. It was a little short. They intended for Brandeis lead. So it'll be second down. Football stays at the 20. Crawford gets everything set, calls out the play, brings motion to the near side, fakes the handoff, throws, and it's caught again. Football inside the 15, inside the 10. That's like Tiffany Powers. Another great return run. Fakes the give there, and then throws, and it's caught in a big first down. Football inside the 10, it is first and goal, Tampa. Now Crawford was ready and whistle sounded. We got a timeout, that's what it is. We'll take it. Just attack, aren't they? First and goal. Football at the seven yard line. Crawford fades back, looks, throws, and it is incomplete. Knocked down. Nice defensive play there. Looked like Jess Stelma just reached out and knocked that one down. Incomplete. So it's second and goal. Crawford. Fumbles the snap, she's in trouble now, and she lost it, it's loose down at the 19. New York saying they may have it, there's Crystal Gray back on the field again. And on the bottom of the pile, how about that, Tampa got it back. Wow, big loss on the play. Football back at the 19, so it's third and goal at the 19 yard line. Let's see if they try and get a short pass here. Something to, to make it, you don't want a 19, 15, something like that. Seven, eight yards you might be able to make. You hate those, but at least it's a little manageable. Now Crawford. Fakes the throw, she's blitzed, now throws it long, and it is almost caught. Oh, she had it for just a second. Went up as high as she could, Heyman. Went up as high as she could, timed it very well, just couldn't quite come up with it. And now it's fourth and goal. Again from the 19. Well, Tampa's in control, but again, I keep bringing this up. They've got that point differential that they've got to make up. Football at the 19-yard line. Motion going to the far side. Crawford fakes the handoff. Rolls back. She's under pressure again. Rolls out, throws on the run, and it's incomplete. It bounced in. Incomplete intended for Tiffany Powers. And it'll be Tampa ball. Nice job by Tampa. Good defensive stand by them. They got some pressure on Denisha Crawford. And that makes a big difference. So now New York with it. First and 10 at their own 19 yard line.
Nicole Stanley. Make sure everybody knows the play. Here they come. No wardrobe problem. They'll get that fixed. Stanley fades back. Under pressure. She and their flags all over. And I wonder if we had another quarterback blitz there. Let's hear what the official had to say. Illegal blitz on the defense, number yeah. 16. Five yards in the previous spot. Remains first down. That's what it was. Well, fans, many believe Tampa has beat itself all season with a lot of false starts inside the red zone, which has cost them crucial points against Philly and Chicago. Shannon Bennett, who committed several of those false starts, has been benched for this game. All right, football at the 24-yard line. Just shy of midfield. She fades back, throws, and it's incomplete. Nice job breaking that up by Tampa. And New York just looking for a little consistency. Last few minutes of this game, they're just looking to try and make a make a little stand here. Something positive. Second five now. She'll call out the play. Stanley fades back. Got all kinds of time. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws and it's incomplete. Overthrown. She had a receiver open. And actually had very good motion on that throw. But just overthrow a bit. And it's incomplete. So third down now. Third and five. New York will bring trips to the right side. Stanley rolls out to the right side. She wants to run for it, and she'll get it. But she gets hit hard at about the 18-yard line. <laughs> Stanley gets up a little fired up, huh? She's not very happy. But she got a first down. <laughs> and the talking goes back and forth. Alexis Heyman giving it right back from Tampa. Football at the 18 yard line, first down New York. At the 18 with the receiver split to both sides. And she was anxious to get to the, to the line of scrimmage. Fades back, got all day. Cox throws, look at she's open it all oh, right through her hands. Oh man, a perfect throw. I'll tell you, Nicole Stanley has done a great job at quarterback. That ball was right there, just couldn't get it, but we got a flag. Play. Holding on the offense, number 15. Five yard penalty remains first down. There's Moskis. Call for the penalty, and yeah. <laughs> Grabbing somebody by the waist and trying to throw them down would be a penalty. So the drop doesn't end up to hurt them as they move it back. First and 15, and they may be getting a little bit more confident with her throwing the football. Stanley fades back. Yeah, they sure are getting more confident. She's looking long, looking. Still McCall, touchdown! Great route that Stelma ran. She comes around the side, picks it up, and gathers in a touchdown. Look at that little crossing pattern. Stelma got away from the safety and gets in for the TD. Very, very nice for New York. And now you got a couple things you can talk about because Nicole Stanley looks to be very good and getting comfortable at quarterback, and you've still got Crystal Gray, one of the best in the league. Now trips to the right side. Yeah. 
Stanley comes around the right side, gets some pretty good blocks, tries to get in, and she did. She got in for the extra point, and there's the official signal. She did get in for the extra point. So 28-13, we'll take a break. Crawford back deep in the shotgun formation throws to Heyman now Heyman's looking long a double pass looking for or that was Brandeis Lee looking long and the pass is incomplete make it second and ten now a little razzle dazzle by Tampa there with a double pass but just overthrown and they have had a lot of success throwing the ball and running the ball Denisha Crawford Now brings a back back there. That's Brandeis Lee. Now puts Lee out in the pattern, throws to her, and Lee's got it. And she is going to be wrestled down at about the 21 yard line. Oh, a little extra push. How about that? And Brandeis Lee is really mad at Charlie Byrne. Byrne came up after the play was all over. We'll try and get a replay and show you that again. After the play was all over, we got a little extra shove. That's got to be a personal foul. Charlie Byrne with that little extra shove. Here comes the official. After the play was over, personal foul on number 16 on the defense. That's 10 yards, carries an automatic first down. Tampa players were excited about that, weren't they? Well, they should be. Here, here it is again, watch. She goes down, and it's actually Byrne that tackles her. Now Byrne gets up and just adds a little. <laughs> That's tough. All right, first down now. Fakes to give, now goes to Lee. Here comes Lee, and she's got a lot of room. 15 to the 10. Look at her go. Inside the five, she's down to the one-yard line. Comes around that right side, and Lee just continues to roll. You see, we got a flag down there late. Well, let's see what the flag's all about. The crowd's moving, they're bringing it back. That was an illegal motion penalty, okay. Now they're back at the 23 yard line. First and 15, and Crawford right under center. Got motion going to the far side. Fakes the give, now throws the pass caught. Zuckelman, and she'll get a few. Oh, shit! <laughs> and a very late tackle. Long after the whistle had blown, there's a very late tackle. Nice little screen pass here. It's very close to the first down, or to the old mark. Now, long after the play is over, we've got that penalty. Crystal Gray showing them that they're crying a little bit. Let's hear from the official. So, offsetting personal fouls, Crystal Gray was involved. <laughs> Offsetting on sportsmanlike penalties. Second down and nine. Trips to the right or to left. Crawford fakes, now throws. Nice little screen pass. Look at this. Here she is inside the 10. Fights forward to about the five yard line. Heyman 
with the catch and we've got flags down again. They're getting the exact mark of the of the penalty. During the play, holding on number five on the offense. It's five yards from the spot of the foul. Main second, official timeout. All right, we got a timeout on the field. We'll take it with them and come right back. So Tampa knocking on the door again. Second down at about five here. Crawford calls the play. We've got motion going to the far side. It's a pitch. Goes to the left side, to the 10, to the five, and down to about the three yard line. Tiffany Powers with about a 12 yard gain. That's a first and goal now for Tampa. And Tampa knocking on the door. They'll finally mark it down at the two yard line. Clock continues to run and Tampa knows that they need to put a lot of points on the board. First and goal. Give goes to the right side, nice cut back and she is in for the touchdown. Tiffany Powers, the team captain with a great cut back. And a little celebration dance in the end zone. And another touchdown. Look at the cutback here. She sees all the traffic going one way. Nice cutback, and she goes right in for the touchdown. Very nicely done. They have just continued to play smart football. What they've done every time so far is Crawford has followed a trip set, and there's trips really wide to the right side now. This is a different look. Now they had motion, and the pass is incomplete anyway. They had all kinds of problems there, but it's incomplete on the extra point. So 34 to 13. It is complete control by Tampa, but Tampa will look for anything they can get. As we said, those false start penalties earlier in the year really have come back to haunt them. Tampa with a nice crowd here. And now New York's gonna get it. Nicole Stanley, their quarterback. Stanley fades back. She's looking long. Steps up in the pocket. Throws, and it is incomplete. She's looking for Nicole Real, but the pass incomplete, and it's second down. Second and 10. And for New York now, I mean, you're, you're just going to see can Nicole Stanley be an adequate quarterback. You can then leave Crystal Bray in a defensive back just to see what you get. And Bray is a terrific quarterback. But at this point in time, obviously this game's in the books. New York's just trying to see what they can get. Now they'll have trips to the right side. And again, confusion. This is something that's just plagued them all year. Stanley fades back, rolls around to the right side. She's in trouble, throws, and it's intercepted. It's picked off. Big time interception, Bree Cotton, and she's going to bring this down to the 10 yard line. The good news for Tampa just continues to roll. Cotton did a great job reading the quarterback there. They got pressure on and probably forced, forced uh, Denisha Crawford to throw it 
or forced uh, Nicole Stanley to throw it a little earlier than she wanted to. And now Tampa in terrific shape again. Thirty-eight seconds left. Here comes Tampa. They've been a machine so far. Crawford fades back. Look, steps up, throws, and it's knocked away. A heck of a defensive play. Looked like Jess Stelma there came across and knocked that one down. That's a really nice deflection, and it's incomplete. Second down. Second goal right at the 10 yard line. Tampa is at Miami next week, setting up a huge game down in Miami. Trips to the right side. Crawford in trouble, gets out of trouble, steps up, throws, and it's caught. A catch. Carry Small with the catch, a little screen pass. Small, 5'10", 140 pounder, a big catch, and now they've got to hurry. And instead, there's a timeout. Timeout called. We'll take it as Tampa calls timeout. 34-13, Tampa with the lead. We'll take a break and come right back. Fourteen seconds left and Tampa trying to get one more touchdown on the board. Football at the four yard line. Here comes that motion that they did so much early in the year. Crawford fades back. Looking, throws in, it's caught, touchdown! Carry Small there again. Two straight green passes to Carry Small, the offensive line woman, and she does a great job. Look at the celebration, they love it. And they love their Tampa Breeze here in Tampa, don't they? These crowds are having a great time. Remember next week, a big game. Tampa at Miami. That'd be one that uh, Miami comes out and plays well. They're going to the playoffs. Tampa needs a big win. Right now, they need to beat Miami by 31 points next Friday night. Crawford rolls, throws, and the extra point is no good. Stopped just short. Looking for Tiffany Powers. Powers couldn't quite get it, and now with this one just about in the books, New York will get one more possession, and then this game will be over. Here's the extra point attempt. There's the throw. She got it and just knocked out of bounds right before the uh, end line. And I tell you, to New York's credit, they have not given up. They've been out of this game for a while, out of the playoffs, but for them, they have not given up, and that's a testament to them. They just need to come back next year and have a little bit better idea of execution and what they're doing. This is not a bad football team. All right, football at the 15-yard line. She'll fade back, roll around, looking. She's got all day. Throws long, and it is almost intercepted. Tapped around a little bit, and that will do it. Final score, Tampa wins this 40-13. to So looking ahead to next week, they have to beat Miami by 31 points and they go to the playoffs. But right now, a lot of celebrations. Our player of the game, Denisha Crawford, the quarterback, 11 of 16, 103 yards, three touchdowns. She had a terrific game. 
And I think as a backup quarterback, Tampa's got to be thrilled with the job she did. Final stats, almost double the yards. Passing yards, huge. Uh, first downs, about the same. It's just a total domination by Tampa. That defense proved to be, as we said early, maybe the best in the league. Well, they stood up to the test tonight. That's our final score. Good night, everybody.